Good evening. Welcome to this prayer around the cross service for peace in the Middle East. I'm Pastor Jana Schofield from this congregation. We welcome you here tonight. We come with our hearts broken for what's happening in the Middle East. We bring to this time and space our hurts, our concerns, our fears, and especially our hopes. And so tonight we gather together um, around this cross to remember that Christ is in the center of all that happens in our lives and in around the world. And so we invite you to enter into the service tonight in whatever ways you wish. There will be time, as you'll hear explained, to come and sit or kneel around the cross and light candles and pray. And at the end of the service, you are welcome to stay as long as you wish, that your prayers may be risen and heard by God. We begin our service on page two of the bulletin. May God be with you. And also with you. Our worship tonight is a simple service of intercessory prayer. The room will remain dim throughout the service. We will hear scripture, we will pray together, and we will sing. Our singing together is a way of breathing prayer to God. During intercessory prayer, we offer ourselves physically, mentally, and spiritually on behalf of that for which we pray. Our very bodies express to God the concerns of our hearts. We pray tonight for our broken world, in particular for Palestine and Israel and the United States, for their leaders their citizens, for those who commit violence and the victims of violence, for world leaders and all working for peace. And when we do not know how to pray, the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. We offer this first prayer as repentance, as petition, and as hope in awareness of all who have died in this recent conflict. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Grant us peace. For the unbearable toil of our sinful world. We plead for remission. For the terror of absence from our beloved. We plead for your comfort. For the scandalous presence of death in your creation. We plead for the resurrection. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Grant us peace. Later in the service, you will be invited to sit or kneel by the cross to pray and light candles as a fragile sign of hope glowing in the darkness. We sing together hymn 247 in your cranberry-colored hymnal in the seat pocket in front of you.
A reading from Isaiah chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me and has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to pro proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called mighty trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display God's glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations they shall repair the ruined fields and cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give to them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God. For God has clothed me with the garments of salvation. God has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations.
Gathered as one body, we cry out to God for that reconciliation which only God can bring. We voice our concerns for Palestine and Israel, trusting in God's mighty will for good and offering ourselves as God's ambassadors for peace. Almighty God, we glorify and praise you. You are our only refuge in this troubled world. On the cross, you reconciled us with yourself and with our fellow human beings. We come before you with all the troubles and pain experienced now in the Middle East. We pray for the victims of injustice and violence. We pray also for those who are responsible for the injustices and all forms of violence. We ask you to teach us the peaceful ways of our Lord Jesus and write them in our hearts. We pray. Through our, our lives and by our prayers, prayers your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. O oh God, we pray for our country's leaders and leaders of other nations whose daily work and decisions affect the lives of so many around the world. Give them wisdom and show them how to bring security to the world without using evil to try to overcome evil. Give them your grace that amid the clamor of war they may seek a new path to prosperity and freedom for all. We pray through, through our, our lives and, and by our prayers, prayers your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Sustain with your power, O oh God, those who in the midst of all difficulties quietly are building the culture of reconciliation, justice, and peace. Strengthen and guide the Christians living in Palestine and Israel. Make them beacons of hope in their communities and witnesses to the power of your peace. We remember especially the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, its bishop, pastors, congregations, and schools. We pray. Through our lives and by our prayers, your kingdom come. God of all people, never has the reconciliation of person to person been more urgent. The stakes are so high and the gulf between us seems so wide. In Christ, you have reconciled us to yourself. Help us now to be reconciled one with another. Grant all people the grace to reach out to one another in mutual respect and humanity, Arab and American, Palestinian and Israeli, Democrat and Republican, Muslim, Christian, and Jew. May the thirst for peace be stronger than the appetite for domination. We pray through our, our lives, lives and by our prayers, prayers your, your kingdom, kingdom come. Compassionate God, champion of the weak and powerless, protector of the widow and orphan, who welcomed the sinners, the outsiders, and strangers, and healed the suffering ones. Open our eyes and ears and hearts to the suffering of the people in Israel and Palestine. Prod us to use the resources you have so abundantly given us to bring about the peace that will put an end to their strife. We pray. Through, Through our, our lives and by our, our prayers, prayers your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. O God of many names and many nations, you sent your son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So inflame us with a love of you that together we may show forth your kingdom. Give us and those who hold authority in all areas of the Middle East the wisdom to know your will, courage to speak the truth, and strength to abandon retribution and seek your new creation. Free us from our bondage to violence and greed and enable us to see your world at peace. We pray. Through, through our, our lives, lives and, and by our prayers, your, your kingdom, kingdom come. Merciful God, accept our prayers and our yearning. You are the only strength we have. Jesus, our liberator, 
and Redeemer. Amen. When the music begins again, you are invited to come to the cross, to kneel or to sit, and to pray. Come alone or with another. Stay as long as you would like. If you cannot kneel, you may use one of the chairs or remain in your seat to pray. Light a candle as a sign of the promise of God to make all things new. Come when you feel drawn. All who remain in their seats will sing and support one another in prayer.
Holy and benevolent God, receive our prayers and petitions as Jesus received the cries of the needy, and fill us with your blessing that we may live as Christ's body in the world. Amen. Amen. You shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle and the olive. It shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. The service is ended, the congregation may leave in silence, and those wishing to stay in silent meditation are invited to do so.